Hey folks, Daily Lance blog for June the 12th, 2018. You may wonder why I'm wearing the same clothing as yesterday, and the answer is because uh, I traveled to Winnipeg to give a speech, so we taped two at once. So the illusion of these Daily Lance blog that they happen exactly on the day that uh, you're watching them, well, I guess uh, at least for this day, the illusion is out the window. You know, for the past couple of days, I guess probably the past three days, I've had a picture of Anthony Bourdain beside me, and people reasonably say, not not just to me, but in general, why is it that we, we focus on suicide when someone famous dies and yet we forget it, it seems, uh, the rest of the time? And, you know, as I mean, there's an obvious explanation for that, um, that we all knew Anthony Bourdain, or most of us did, and as opposed to not everybody knew my friend Luke Sklar. But I, I, I do agree with the idea that we can be so focused on the tragedy, our feelings are so intense, that we all want to do something about it. It's like, oh my gosh, Anthony Bourdain is dead. We have to do something. We have to go beyond the mask that maybe he was wearing. We have to get rid of the stigma. And then two days later, we've moved on to the next cause. That is human nature. But it's our job here at Sick Not Weak to keep the focus on the issue. And to acknowledge the fact that, yeah, you know what, it was a couple of weeks ago that my buddy Luke Sklar took his life. And I have not spoken about Luke Sklar on the Daily Lands blog since then. So, so maybe, you know, I'm part of the problem. Maybe for me, the intensity of my feelings um, for Luke and his passing came forward at that time. And maybe now I just keep them to myself. And that's no good because um, we need to look at every single day like people we care about, their life is on the line. And for me and for um, Luke's family and for Luke, obviously, it's too late now. But Luke reminds us that while Anthony Bourdain, someone really famous, someone that we all felt like we knew, um, can hide his struggles with depression, um, this touches everyone. It touches the rich. You know, there's a saying, money can't buy happiness, right? And, and uh, why would we think, if money can't buy happiness, that money can buy a cure for depression? Why do we think that people with money or people successful are insulated against it? So I wanted to, uh, wanted to show you uh, Luke's picture, and I wanted to just say that even though um, it's been, I guess, three weeks now um, since he died, we do not forget. Um, we do not bury our feelings. Uh, and we, um, when I say we, I'm talking about Sick Not Weak and anybody that wants to join us, will never quit working to make sure that we do the best for the future Luke Sklar's. It's pretty handsome too, wasn't he, Case? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I never met him uh, until after he got sick and God, I feel so terrible about it. Uh, SickNotWeek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because um, Luke wants us to be here. He told me that.